M0 FXB Hamtech, welcome to my channel. This little box here is the universal radio controller. You can see it's got lots of connections and right now it's plugged into where your twin pin cable would normally go, you know, if you had the uh, that type of cable, you know, like this. So the idea of this little box is that we can use things like Chirp and lots of other programs and it effectively adds a USB out. If you look at the back here, got a USB-C cable. There's a few connectors there, but right now we're just going to show you the TRDH radio working on Chirp. Okay, sorry about my very bad focus. So let's just do it. So here's Chirp and we're going to go radio. Download from radio. Now it says COM37. I'll show you that in the device manager. You can see it there at the bottom, COM37, and that's coming from the box. The box is connected here 2.5 and here 3.5 and going to, and the selection is on HT and it's going to the right and left plugs there, which you can see are marked 2.5 on the left, 3.5. So it's quite easy to get this correct. Back to the PC. So we've selected our COM. Then we select TID radio and then H3 and then we go, okay. And it's reading and you'll see it reads very fast and we get all our memory channels. Okay, now let's try a completely different radio. This is the Radtail 490 or the Juampi 8800. I don't even know if Chirp supports this. Let's have a look. Okay, well it's on their list, Radtail 490. Let's click OK. Ta-da! And it's working. Now I tested it with a Quashang and I had an error so it could be... I'm going to try a different Quashang. But you can see that same box and we are now cloning from a complete, well, when I say completely different, a different radio, which was the Radtel. Just come back and you're going to see all the memory channels and there they are there. Working great. Uh, so that's really good news. And of course, we can read and we can write to this device as well. Let's try Bofun. Okay, Bofun connected. Like I said, just two cables in there. I haven't touched the cables on that device. Let's give it a go. So we've selected same com and we're going to go go. And look, it's reading and that's coming from the Bofun. So what I love about this box is that it can also be a digipeter and interact with lots and lots of other programs, even get you on APRS FI. So there you are, not many memory channels in that one. Right, let's try another one. This is a really old Quashung that I've got. It's actually called a Warui. I got this radio way before anyone had actually ever heard of Quashang and UVK5. I just got it because I saw it on AliExpress and I just thought, what an unusual looking radio. And now look at the way that ev everyone has gone crazy for them since the firmware updates. But anyway, it's all connected. Let's try it. It does actually work, but I've got some errors. It could be my cables. Just click OK now. Yeah, it, see, with my other one, which had the firmware upgrade, there was a problem with the uh, Exuma, but it was modified for some different software. But look, the K5s worked great. And I'm just testing it with another K5, and it worked straight away. So it must have been something to do with that particular radio. But yeah, that's working good. Now let's try this one. This is like a, it's either a Bofum 20 or a Bofum 10. Let's try it. I've got quite a few different models of this and faffing around with the cables can be a bit of a pain. So obviously a box like this, you don't have to worry about any cables. So let's, um, let's try it. Bofung, and that worked perfect. It's actually a boat came up under Bofung 17 and it works straight away. Very pleased with that. Now for some, for someone, oh, there goes a, that's actually airband in the background on the H3, but anyway. For someone like me who's making a lot of videos programming, it's a real pain, you know, messing around with different cables. But this is going to make life a lot easier. So this is a lov lovely Bofeng radio. Let's turn that down. This is a lovely Bofeng radio. That was actually airbound that you could hear. And this radio does do airbound really well. So I'll just turn it up just in case. Anyway, let's try reading it. So this is the Bofeng 18H. Yeah, that one's actually not listed. So uh, try a different one. It's not listed on the chirp. 
This is a Royage UV58, lovely little radio. Bought this a long time ago. Let's just try it. And it's working, you can see it flashing away. And just zoom over here, and you can see it's worked great. That's a little Royage 58. Lovely little set. This is the Radtail 470, and I love it. It's really good on airband. It's a real nice size, twin PTT. Uh, again, all, most of these radios are under £20, and you think, oh, he's got too many radios. Oh, no, I haven't. They're under £20. I just don't waste it on cigarettes, alcohol, and McDonald's. So here goes. We're going to click OK. You can see it's programming now. Sorry my focus isn't amazing in this room. And just look in here. There you go. One program radio. Come on, how good is that? This this device, you can actually buy a smaller version of this. I'm not sure how well it works. I'm going to be testing it soon. I like a twin pin device that plugs in here. I'll show you it. Uh, that gives USB-C out. And that might end up doing a very similar thing. It looks like this by G1 LRO. Just put that into Chrome, you'll find it. And so I will be doing videos on this device as well. Just printed a little 3D cover for it. Right, well, I think that's enough testing for now. Thanks for watching my YouTube channel. Check out this device. I'll put the link in for all of the devices by G1 LRO. Going to be doing some a lot of learning. That's the back of it. That's the front. I'll show you the APRS unit that goes into this, which is here. I've got some soldering to do. Not looking forward to that, but we have we are going to do that. And then when, it looks like when we're in that mode, you've got a different APRS board. It says APRS TNC modem. Similar, but slightly different. More items there for me to learn about. So interesting. Bye for now. 7-3. All the best.